start today, guys. We are heading in here to this winery. Down we go over the little bridge. Still. I see a little bunny. A little bunny just went in the bushes there. Yeah. Alright, we're heading up here to the wine. Alright, we are here today to see if we can get to do a wine tasting, guys. This is our little date. So we're gonna hang out, taste some wine, see whatever they have to offer and enjoy. So oh, I'm accompanying this beautiful lady. Now we go in and see what's up. So let's go, guys. Alrighty. So, this is the wine tasting room. There's so much different types of wines here. Really, really nice place. Friendly people. So, Stuff up there. So much wine. It's okay. Sorry. Yeah. So we have Jackie's gonna be sampling some of the wine. How does it look today? It looks good. The air is really nice, beautiful. Friendly I can't people. Wait. It's friendly. I can't wait to start sampling. Yes. I know you like you like white, right? Yes, I love white. Roses and blush. Yes, all I am. Ready to yes, go. Uh, fantastic. We're gonna start very top of the list, something to cleanse your palate. The Elena. Okay. This is Seval Blanc grape. This is fermented in stainless steel, preserving fresh fruit flavors like ripe green apple, uh, ripe citrus as well. Okay. So swirl that, sniff that, swallow that. That's so good though. Have you been to Bosniani before? No. Have you ever been to a winery and done a wine tasting? Yes. Yeah, we did a few. You like this one? She, she loves the white and I prefer red ring. Oh, all right. Well, we'll take care of everybody here. Thank you. Now, Chardonnay shows the influence of oak in the winemaking process. You will get flavors like caramel, butterscotch, and vanilla. These are extracted from the oak barrel. They are not from the fruit. Chardonnay fruit tends to give flavors like pears, banana, citrus as well. Okay. Oak also softens the wine. You get a much uh, mellower texture than when you ferment in stainless steel. Nice. What's your, what's your verdict? It's the mellowness of the food. Okay. Where do we live? Yes. In Baltimore. Fantastic. Yes. And you've never been to Bosniani before? Well, to be truthful, we've, we've only been living in Baltimore for a Four months? Oh, okay. Four months. Yeah. okay. You forgive us for that. Yes. <laughs> yeah. We will do the Elena Rosé. Again, stainless steel fermentation. Again, preserving fresh fruit. Think strawberries, think melons, and also beautiful floral, floral notes here as well. Hey, how's it going? Welcome in. Got a group together. All right. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's okay. No problem at all. 
sign up with Chris and then we'll go. I love the roses. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. The rose is very good. I like it. So this is your favorite so far? Yeah. Okay. We're going to have to scoot you guys down a sure. little bit. We're going to make some room for some other tasters. Okay. Got enough pencils to yeah. start a school there. I know. <laughs> All right, I brought you some friends. Thank you, thank you. Skip the reds. We'll get down here and taste some of the sweeter whites. Okay. Vidal is a sweet, produces sweet, full bodied white wines. I think these are very complimentary with Indian food. This first wine would be about 3% residual sugar, and then we'll taste the wine at 8% residual sugar. Something. I'd give you a hard time, but there's so many wineries around here. I can see you eating this with a curry for me. Get to them all. Yeah. Yes. It has a kind of flavor in there and that, that gives me, you know, it will pair well with like something spicy. Okay. Mm. This is going good, guys. Yes, yes, this Nothing is. Nothing like a good wine. Enjoy, I'm enjoying this. Really a building block of the Midland. The wine, wine have a kind of sophistication to it. You know, it's, it's kind of stylish. Yes, it is. Like me? Yes, stylish lady. Come back to the Back home now, I accustomed to Paiwari. This the cassava wine. And uh, when we go to the, oh, we have the next one we're gonna taste. Vidal is a wine that is very winter hardy. If you ever get up into Canada, around, around Niagara mm -hmm. or Lake Ontario, they do a lot of beautiful things with Vidal up north. Okay. okay. Again, this wine is about 8% residual sugar. Oh, Let me try this one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It smells delicious. Smell. Yeah, it got a really good smell to it like what does it smell like an orchid it smells really good oh my gosh it's delicious brine tripe nice. you like this it, one yes it's better than the other one Try. all right here it goes this is my best so far. Yes. Just one. Make a note of that. Make a note of that. This is the one I like best so far. Yeah, this one right here. I have to put on my glasses so I could see the taste properly. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna do Riesling. Yeah, I like Sweet, the like the Vidal, but beautiful, bright, citrusy acidity. Yes. Peaches, nectarines, and limes would be your, your go-to sensations on this one. It's good too. Yeah, it's a good Riesling. I think you could smell a lime. Lime? Our Chardonnay is more gunny. Yeah, this is good too. Very yep, good. it is good. The Merlot, oh. very well-known grape, originating in Bordeaux, France, has done very well in California and other parts of the world. Merlot is known for dark cherry and plum fruit, chocolatey notes. We use a toasty oak here, which will offer sort of a toasted coconut on the nose and on the palate. Velvety smooth, though it is a big and rich wine.
Okay. Was it a nice steak? Anything on the grill or yes, a nice steak. Lamb in particular and Merlot love each other. Okay. <laughs> it smells so rich. Yeah, it does smell like I a guess rich oil. I guess it's one of them. Yeah. Not plain. <laughs> Small you can mm -hmm. taste the oakiness. This the is a good marble. Mm. This is a really good marble. Mm -hmm. Make me want a steak dinner now. <laughs> this is a very mellow style red sweet wine. <laughs> You're going to get dried fruits like raisins and dried cherry and also nutty flavors here as well. Enjoy. Thank you. Smell the raisins. Definitely smell the raisin. This is better than the Merlot to me. I like this more than the Merlot. Yeah, it's better than the Merlot. Mm -hmm. This is my best so far. Yeah, you like this I, for the I red? I need a bottle of this. Okay. I, I need We're gonna write that one down. Mm -hmm. This is this. This is a premium. Yes, Mark. Mark B, Mark B. So you know that's, that's my favorite. Yes. So, so delicious. Awesome. What do you think about this? Yes, I'm loving this experience. This is a good date. Really, really good date, guys. Yes. Yeah. We're headed now to walk the vineyard. The wine tasting was absolutely wonderful. Yeah, I enjoyed the wines. Really enjoyed the wines. Gonna, the grips yeah. are coming in, look at that. Yep. They're getting they're getting right. So this is what turns into that beautiful taste and stuff in the bottle. Mm-hmm. And uh, Jacqueline got on her green dress to blend in with the, the vines. <laughs> Look at this beautiful young lady having fun. Fun in the sun. Oh yeah. Tasting some delicious wines and walking the vineyard. Yes. And they do have, I see they have like um, tomatoes, tomatoes and stuff going over yes. there. But because they do have some pizzas that they do here. Yes. Yeah. And remember we did a winery in New Jersey one time that they made a tomato wine yes 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 they made a tomato wine that i had really liked there's two different types they have the tradi traditional young wrong ones and, the long and then they have this long one like a like a pepper yeah it kind of looks like pepper yeah but it's a tomato that's unique it's a kind of a big vineyard Lots of vines. Which is really good to walk off after you had the, all that wine. Yeah, and the, the guy, the guy gave us more than our allotment. He was very generous. He was. He was he said, "Oh, it's supposed to be um, six wines. We end up tasting 16." <laughs> and then he said, "Which one was your favorite?" Uh, and then he gave us some more of our favorite. He said, that's for the road. <laughs> this is really so it's an Italian, an Italian winery. winery. Yeah. The guy is an Italian, so. And he showed us some bottles in there that some of the most famous wines from around the world. You know, 
was really, really, really good. You know what, if you're gonna plant the grapes, you might as well make your own wine. See nothing wrong with that. Yes. You make more profit than if you just sell the, the grapes to somebody to, to make the wine. I mean, I tried my, my share of winemaking and I did get some right, some not so nice. But back home, the jamun, the jamun wine was the bomb. But one time we went to a farm and we got some grapes and we got some strawberries and I mixed the two and make a wine that was really, really good. My daughter last Sunday was like, oh boy, you got to make this again. Yeah. Yeah, so I do try my hand at wine making too, guys. I do. Sometimes I would take cherries the cherries from over here, mm -hmm. not the kind that we are accustomed to in Guyana. The ones from here, and it makes a really good wine too, tasty. It does really taste good. <laughs> and back home, Jackie's brother, twelve, he makes some something we call sleepy tonic. Yes. Yes, he makes it out of biscuit and black potatoes. And black potatoes, and set it for three things. months, like, I think. No, three weeks. Three weeks. Okay. And then, but that thing is strong, boy. They even know if you don't. That's why they call it sleepy tonic. If you don't it puts be careful, it put you to sleep. It tastes delicious, but then it yeah. packs a good punch after. Yeah, yeah it, it, it's deceiving. It goes down smoothly, but then it starts to give you a kick and a punch. And look at this young man in his felt hat. Looking so handsome today. Look at him. You never felt a felt like my felt cup. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. It's well, a good day, guys. It Very is nice. a good day to be out. And alive. And alive. It's a good day to be alive. <laughs> to be alive. We better be alive. So it is really nice out here. A nice atmosphere inside. The people are very, very oh, friendly. Very friendly very knowledgeable and inviting they, they treat us well so, this is a huge vineyard i'm yeah. not gonna be walking this entire vineyard the next time we're gonna be coming earlier so we can enjoy some of that pizza pizza and wine that sounds divine like how I did that. Pizza and wine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pizza is gonna soak up some of that alcohol content in the wine. If you look at across the valley, there are some horses in the meadow there. Oh, all the way on top, yeah. yeah. We, out here is beautiful though, because we pass a lot of open land, corn fields, horse farms. It, it roll in hills and valleys, so it, it's really, really beautiful drive coming out here. It is. Yeah. What we could do after we finish our walk around and our laser run, on the drive back home, we could try and capture some, capture some footage. So you could some of the beauty, beauty of, of the, the place. Of, of, of the countryside. Yeah. See, they have this tent set up and people sitting there just yeah. enjoying their wine, hanging out, chit-chatting. Sitting back with a <laughs> bottle of wine, just sipping and... Relaxing. Enjoying the food. These are the ripest settings. Yeah, these are coming in nicely. This, this is the special grapes that make the wine. Not the regular food. Yeah. And, it, and the strange part of it is, it doesn't have a nice taste. No, but it, it makes, doesn't have it a nice taste really like a regular grape, mm -hmm. but make perfect wine. Yeah. Oh, that was someone performing live. They yeah, were they have singing. A, a live singer there. Okay. Really if I had the time, I would have gone and sang two songs for them, you know, but. 
I don't think I have that much time today. <laughs> okay. I like how the vines are running on the building, like the barn. Could have been real vines. I don't know. This is really, really, really nice. We're gonna sit down, enjoy the atmosphere, drink some more, and relax. Because it is a beautiful day to be outdoors enjoying this. So we're gonna head in back to the tasting room and pick up a few bottles to go. Yes. <laughs> I love it. It's just like having that wine. <laughs> Lord, I you have nobody. Hi. Um, they got to sign it to the day without wine. It's like a day without sunshine. <laughs> Wait, you want pizza? No good you hear that one? She said, a day without wine is like a day without sunshine. Yes. I like this. The vines covering the spot. Yes. So we're gonna be going, getting some wines to go here. And then we're gonna hang out for a little bit more before we hit the road. And they just said, grab the light by the glass. So it's a beautiful area. Yes. Really, really enjoyed this. It was so good. It's something... A unique experience guys to come out and just sit down and enjoy some good wine some good company and just relax de-stress have a good time so we got our wines to go here some bottles for another day but the area is just beautiful peaceful We are going to be heading back out now after relaxing for a bit. This was our favorite. So we got these to go so we can enjoy another day. Nothing like good wine, good food, good company. Good conversation. Yes, good conversation. So we're going to head out back down the trail and on the way we're going to take a little bit of shots of the, the scenery out the scenery there yes. and some farmlands, some nice meadows and yes, roll See. along nicely, easy like Sunday afternoon. And please remember to like and subscribe guys. Yes. Follow us on our daily adventures so that as we enjoy life. So yes. that we know we're in good company. Yes. So we're headed back out. I'm getting a little footage of the scenery out there. Sprawling countryside. Sprawling countryside, right? I like these open areas. That's the road. a good good day we had a great time today really really good time and remember folks you are not too old to have adventures and not 
enjoy life. Life is an adventure. Make the most of it. Head out there and have some fun. Do what you like. It don't have to be wine tasting. It don't have to be hiking. It, it, whatever you like. Yes. Enjoy that. Good. And enjoy spending quality time together. With your partner. Or your kids. Or your grandkids. Yes. Some people just be like, Oh, we've been together for so many years. We don't need to be doing stuff like that. Yes, you need to be doing stuff like that. Enjoy time with each other. Life is too short. Oh, oh. Somebody's preaching. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not preaching. I'm saying the truth. Life is too short. Yes, I'm, I'm just kidding. Do what you can today and don't put it off for tomorrow. Tomorrow never come, guys. We are heading back out guys so thanks for being with us on this adventure we appreciate it we appreciate all the views the likes the comments the subscription keep the love flowing show us some love and, and all ways. remember my motto peace and love is the message yes guys thanks for being with us